we're still awake. Yeah, yeah, I can't sleep. I've just been so excited. Yeah, I've been up here counting how many holes are in the ceiling tiles. How many did you count? Oh, I can only get to 12 before I forget. Oh yeah, I can't pass, count past yeah. 12 either. Man, it's been so much fun. I love summer camp. Me too. I, but man, let me tell you, Jake, I'm really tired. Yeah, I know. I, maybe, I mean, I know we've been staying up every night, but maybe we should, we should try to get some sleep. Yeah, tonight. yeah, let's go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good night, Jake. Good night, buddy. Yeah, I can control. Okay. Good night. Good night. I can't even hear myself talk right now, but I can still hear you snoring. Oh, all right. Um, Parker, I don't know what to do. I just, I can't what? help it. I'm so tired. I got these. What are... They're nasal strips. My okay. grandma got them for my grandpa, and I brought them just in case. We put that on, so maybe you can breathe better. Okay. All right. Thanks, Parker. These are perfect. This is really frustrating, man. You got that? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I think you. I think it's gonna work. Right. Good. Yeah. Night. Nice. Fine, Parker, if you really can't sleep, it's really that loud, I don't know how it is, but I'll just stay up until you fall asleep, and then I'll go to sleep, okay? All right. I really like that plan. Okay. All right. All right, good night, buddy. Good night. Ah, uh, the things I do for him. I am such a good friend. Oh, I'm the best friend in the world. Is he? You're snoring. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hear a thing. <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't, Parker. I don't think we're going to get any sleep, Jake. This isn't going to work. We're just going to stay up all night again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if we're going to stay up all night again, we might as well just... We, let's just check out the Bible story now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they can sleep either. With all no. Of snoring. I yeah. mean, you're snoring really loud. So, so uh, you know what? I, let's, let's just go to Bible story, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Bible story time. All nighter. Woo! Don't worry guys, I have a Bible story for us. Hey Camp Up Street, my name is Gideon, and this summer we're gonna be talking about what it means to follow Jesus. Now, let me start by asking you guys a question. Have you guys ever done something wrong and gotten punished for it? Or even worse, have you guys ever done something wrong and everybody started laughing at you for it? It's embarrassing. People might start making fun of you or you know, yelling at you for something that you did wrong. And it really stinks. Well, in our Bible story today, Jesus met someone just like that. You see, there was this woman that broke the law. And while Jesus was out preaching at the temple one day, the leaders brought this woman before him. And they said, hey, this woman broke the law and we need to punish her. 
And the way that they punished people back in the day is they would throw rocks at them. Ouch, that really hurts. Now, Jesus, you know, he could have done a lot of things there. He could have started laughing at the woman. He could have started making fun of her. He could have started throwing rocks at her. But Jesus didn't have any of those reactions. Instead, he turned to the leaders and he asked them a question. He said, have any of you guys sinned? And if you haven't, you can go ahead and throw a rock. Now, basically what Jesus was saying here is, have you guys ever done something wrong like this woman? And I have a couple examples here that maybe you guys can relate to also. Have you guys ever cheated in school or in anywhere else just trying to, you know, do something that isn't right? Have you guys ever lied, told a lie to your parents or your teachers trying to not tell the truth? Or have you guys ever disobeyed? I know that I'm really guilty of this one. I disobey all the time. The truth is all of us have broken the rules at some point. None of us is perfect and we've all sinned. And so because of this, all the teachers have, who have also sinned thought the exact same thing. And because they had all sinned, none of them would throw a stone and they all walked away until it was just Jesus and the woman. Now Jesus looked to the woman and he said, listen, you need to stop breaking the law, but I love you and I forgive you and you're free to go. Now, it's important to remember here that Jesus still wants us to stop doing the wrong thing, but Jesus still loves us and forgives us even whenever we do the wrong thing. Remember at the beginning, whenever we thought about those times when we're embarrassed whenever we do something wrong? Well, with Jesus, instead of laughing at us or getting angry at us, he forgives us because he loves us so much. And just like how he forgave us, we should also forgive others whenever they do stuff to us that we think is wrong. So forgive others just like Jesus forgives us. Let's go ahead and pray. Jesus, thank you so much that you forgive us and love us so much. Please help us this week to forgive others. And thank you so much for forgiving us and loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Parker, yeah, that was a really good story. Yeah, it really, really was. I mean, I, I actually was kind of earlier about the snoring thing. I, I was kind of like somebody in the story. Yeah, I mean, I think you were, Parker. Yeah, and to be honest, you know, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to sleep because how loud these beds are. I know. I yeah. mean, just moving around a little but, bit. But I was really kind of being a little bit of a, I was being a hypocrite a little bit. And, and like the people that were trying to throw the stones at, at the woman, I, I was trying to yell at you for snoring, but I mean, I was snoring just the same. Yeah, I'm glad you finally realized that, but, but it's okay, Parker, because I forgive you. Yeah. Wow, and this, this makes me think of a question, Jake. Yeah. yeah. How, how can you remember to forgive others? That, that is a really great question. Maybe when you get upset with someone, uh, you can remember that you're just like them too, that everyone has their own problems and you should look at yourself before trying to point out bad things in other people. Yeah, and honestly, maybe we just need to like, instead of pointing the fingers, we need to point the fingers back at us and see what is going on in our lives before we judge other people. That's a really good point. But Parker, I think right now, all of us should try to get some sleep. Definitely. Uh, I have a great idea. Papa. How about we just fall asleep at the exact same time? That's a great idea. I love, why didn't we just do that the first time? Let's try it. All right. We'll see you guys next time on the Sunday Funday Show. Bye guys. Bye.